Carly and welcome back to my channel. We just moved into our new place and so I thought I would do a homeware haul for you guys today. Our last apartment, I didn't do too much of this just because I felt like I knew that we were gonna move and I don't know, I feel like because we're gonna be here for a couple years, we can like invest in better pieces and really make this place a home. So a couple of days ago, me and Sebastian went into TJ Maxx and it was so much fun because he is not like a huge shopper. So when he's in the mood to shop, it's really fun and we can get a lot of fun things. And so I definitely took advantage of it um, just because I think both of us are so excited to be here and to make this house just really fun and exciting and something that we really want to look forward to each day. We both, um, well, Sebastian now works from home every single day back for himself. So it's important that he feels like comfortable and especially like coming from the basement situation, it's important for both of us and for our jobs to feel creative and inspired each day. And I think that has to do with what we surround ourselves with. So yeah, it was a lot of fun to find some things. So this haul is a lot of that TJ Maxx stuff. We have a couple Amazon things and then what else? Oh, we have some thrifted items because it wouldn't be a video if I didn't thrift. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you like homeware videos or if you are moving into a place or maybe wanting to spruce up your house, definitely keep watching and also subscribe because throughout December, I'll still be sharing little home bits because we didn't get everything obviously that we need slash want for this house in one trip. It'll take us a while to fill this up. So um, if you want to come on that journey with me, I'll be sharing loads and loads of updates for this house. So definitely subscribe and let's get into it. Okay, so I think I'll start with the Amazon things just because we only have a couple things. We got three things I think from there. Um, two, well, I guess it's like two and one, but we got two bedside tables um, for upstairs in our room. I really wanted the theme of our house to be a lot of white and natural wood and just like a bohemian woven look. Like I feel like what you always see around. I really love that style. So that's kind of what I went for. Um, our bedside tables, I'll link them down below. I will try to link everything down below. The TJ Maxx and the thrifted stuff might be hard, but I'll do like similar items down below for you guys. But Amazon, I can totally link for you. So. Um, yeah, we got those bedside tables from Amazon. We're still waiting on them, but they're really cute. They're just like a natural wood, very minimal, um, just like a clean shape. I didn't want anything too like chunky. I just wanted it to feel nice and airy up in our bedroom. So that is what we're waiting on. But um, we also got this hamper basket situation. It's very big. <laughs> um, it's not as tall as I thought it was gonna be. I thought, about using this for our clothes situation, which I think I still will because it's nice and big. Um, but I just love this look. Like this is what I want my whole house to look like. Like nice brown, cute cream, white colors everywhere. I just think it'll go so nicely upstairs in our room. Um, just a nicer way to store your laundry. And I like that it has like handles because our laundry room is like down the hall from us. So and just like lug it around. Um, yeah, so I really love that. Okay, the next thing that we got is just this nice little wooden uh, shoe holder. You can kind of see what it looks like right there. It's just two shelves. We didn't want anything too big, but we kind of wanted, well, at least for me, I kind of wanted like a nice way to let people know like, Please take off your shoes. <laughs> We've never been that way in our other places, but I really want to keep this place nice. And we have a lot of carpet running through, as you can see behind me. Um, and so most of the time, people are really nice and like take their shoes off anyway. But I think it'll just be nice to have this here. And it's not, when we have like people over, it won't be just like a chunky mess in the hallway. They can just put it on the little rack and it works. So I think we might get another one of these for, um, a little closet that we have for like our personal shoes because I don't really want to put our shoes in our closet, which might be weird. Um, I want to put them in like a separate closet. So we might get a couple more of these depending on how this one works out. We haven't opened it or anything, um, so I'll let you guys know. But yeah, that is what we got from Amazon. So the first vase that I got was just this really, really cool, it kind of looks like tortoiseshell. Like it's just a really pretty amber tortoiseshell vase. I saw one of these at, uh, what's that store called? I saw one of these at Hobby Lobby and I really, really wanted it, but then I put it back because like we weren't moved out yet. I didn't want to lug it around. Um, and so I went into the thrift store and I saw this and it was so similar. And I think it was, it was only $5.99, um, but it's really big, it's really nice. Um, so I wanted just a couple of new ones to kind of spruce up the house a little bit. So I found that one. 
And then the second one I got, I think I might put this one in our bedroom. I'm not really too sure, but it's just a really pretty light pink one. And I want to get some pompous grass to put in. And I think that will be so pretty just like sitting on our dresser. And this one was $3.99. And then lastly on this trip, I tried to take the sticker off to like put it up, but whatever. I think it was like $2, but it's just really pretty frame and I just loved the texture on it and this is kind of like the wood that I want like running through our house so again I just think like these two look so cute together so I'll have to get a picture to put in it but I just really love the texture it was such a nice frame super cheap those are the items I got at Savers and then we went a second time with Sebastian yesterday and we picked out a ton of frames um, I want to do like a nice gallery wall but I'll have to get like bigger frames for that so we kind of wanted little th frames throughout the house and like for his office so he got like a lot of nice like, you can find so many just nice easy wood frames at the thrift store they're so inexpensive they're usually in great quality so Sebastian got a couple for his office and then I picked up six of these uh, little gold frames and they're just like in such good condition. They're $1.99 and so I don't really know. I've been like researching like cute um, gallery walls with like smaller mirrors, smaller mirrors, <laughs> smaller frames um, on Pinterest and they look really cute. So I'm going to see how these work and if I like them. I don't really know where I'm going to do. I don't want like a million gallery walls running through my house but I do want a couple and I thought that this one would be nice, maybe upstairs, I don't know. Um, so I'll see how it looks. If I don't like it, then these are nice to just like pop anywhere. Uh, so they're good to have regardless. So we got six of those and then that's kind of all we got at the thrift store. We weren't really seeing anything else that we loved and then that's when we went into TJ Maxx and it was so fun. <sighs> This is where it gets fun. Okay, so a lot of these things are also like just random bits and bobs for like our kitchen and stuff, which really interests me. So hopefully you guys like it. Um, but we got a couple of cutting boards just because I like to get new ones every once in a while. I don't know, cutting boards really freak me out. So we got new ones. I liked this one because it was like wood on this side for like veggies and like cheese. But then on this side, it was like that plasticky um, I mean, this feels plastic, but you know what I mean. <laughs> um, a nice one for like smelly foods and like meats and all of that. So I liked the little reversible look. So that's just like a practical one to have, I feel. It's nice to have one of those. We have a big um, like marbly one that's really nice. It's over there, but I don't want to go get it. So we have one of those that sits on the counter, but it's not good for like meat and all of that. So we got another one that is just like, or just it's so pretty I really love just like the look of this one just like sitting like you know when they stack them with like multiple ones I think that's really cute so I want more of like this one but um, this is good for like cheese boards or easy like fruit to cut up stuff like that um, and it's just like a cutting board we needed one so we got a couple of those which was nice we also got a strainer. I always wanted one of these strainers so you can just like, cause we don't really make a ton that we would need like a big strainer and that's the only one that we have and I feel like it's, it just always gets in the way. So I, I wanted to have one that was really nice, just like a couple servings, it's just me and Sebastian. Uh, so we found this and we picked it up so I was really excited about it. We also had to pick up a new, um, what's this called can opener because ours never works and we like spent a little more on a KitchenAid one because we felt like we just cannot deal with a broken one anymore we had to like stab it around the whole edges and like break it because it wouldn't work so hopefully this one's better I just got a white one I really loved it I think it will go really well with everything else in the kitchen so we also got some new like uh what are these called kitchen utensils. I, mean, I wanted stainless steel because they're really sturdy. We had like black plastic ones that just didn't really do the job well so we wanted to get some stainless steel ones and I think they'll look really pretty in like a nice jar or something uh, so I still need to find something like that but regardless we needed some and I'm really excited about that they're like stainless steel and not the plastic anymore. We were a little bit obsessed with the candles in there um, so I got this really big one um, and this one is called Unwind and it's such a nice like living room scent. Like I just want my whole house to smell like this, so that's why I got this big one of it. I think it will look really pretty just sitting on our coffee table. I love to decorate with candles. It's such an easy way to decorate your house and make it look pretty, but 
There's really pretty jars at TJ Maxx. They're really affordable. There's so many different kinds. We love their candles. So we got a big one of that. And then I think the rest of these might be candles too. They're all packaged, so I'm gonna unpackage them. Oh, I could smell this one from the package. I had to get a Christmas one. We didn't get any Christmas decorations, which I'm not sure if because we've just moved in, I'm so excited to make it like so cute and so aesthetic. I don't want to buy anything Christmassy, which is so sad and weird, but I did buy a Christmas candle. Um, and this one is just fresh pine and balsam. I don't know how to say that, but it smells exactly like a Christmas tree. And I think it's so pretty. I kind of want to put one of these in the bathrooms. Um, I just love it. So we got one of those again with another massive one. I love these. These they're so affordable and they're so big and they last a long time. And again, they just look so pretty. So I got this black one. This is fireside. So also another cute seasonal one. And it doesn't even smell seasonal. Like I would still burn this year round. It's just so warm and cozy and that's what I want this place to feel like. So this might go up in our room. I think it will be really cool. Um, but yeah, the big ones I'll just scatter throughout the house. So we got another candle. I think we have one more. Yes, we have one more and this is another seasonal one because we are having Friendsgiving and Thanksgiving here at our place. So I wanted to get a like seasonal one to put on the table. So this is sparkling cranberry and normally I don't really love the cranberry scents, but this one is so good. It just smells so fresh. I wish I could like just go like this so you guys could smell because I'm not really sure how to explain it, but it's just so fresh and warm and cozy. So this will be cute on our table, I thought, for all of our dinners. So I think those are all of our candles. I feel like there's one more bag because we're missing. Um, there is, I'll have to go find it. But the last thing that's right here is this really pretty lamp. I loved it. This actually was on sale. I think it was 30, it was $40 and we got it for 16. And I was so bummed that there was only one because I really wanted this as like bedside lamps. Uh, Cause I think they'd be so pretty. I just love like how like organic the vase is and just the color is really pretty. It's not too, I didn't want anything too chunky. Like I feel like lamps can get really chunky. So I love that this is like see-through. It's a light yellow color. Um, and so yeah, I really wanted <laughs> two of them, but there was only one. So we got the one that I think will be pretty down here in our living room. Um, so yeah, a lamp, I really loved it. I've never purchased a lamp. So I was really excited. Oh my gosh. Ugh. This video is already so long, I'm gonna try to <laughs> speed through this. So, moving on. This is not new. <gasps> oh, I'm excited about this one. So, this is still, we're still in Home Goods. No, we're still in TJ Maxx. So, I wanted to, I did a really crazy thing and donated all of my mugs, besides like four that were special to me. Um, but yeah, I donated all my little tacky mugs for just these gorgeous clear coffee mugs. I know you guys have already seen these, but I just really wanted our coffee mugs to be clear. I think they're so pretty, especially like when people come over and it's after dinner and we're having like a little cookie, a little coffee or a hot chocolate. Like, isn't that gonna be so pretty? So we got just a four set or a set of four um, just because most of the time it's just me and Sebastian. But I think I wanna get one more just in case some people come around. But yeah, just cute little mugs. I'm so excited about these. There is something in here that we might have to return because we don't need it. Um, we got a paper towel holder because, I mean, obviously, but we have, I didn't know this, but we have like built in, we have two built in paper towel racks. Uh, so they're nice. They kind of look just like this, but they're like in the wall. So I'm gonna return this because we don't need it, which is nice. Um, but we got that just in case we weren't sure. And then we got a cheese grater because we've never had a cheese grater. And this big one was, $4.99, it was so nice and I was like, yep, we're getting it. I recently learned that you shouldn't be getting pre-shredded cheese because it has like a film on it to help it not be clumped. So it just freaked me out. So now I wanna get all my cheese from Costco and just grate it myself when we need it. So we got a cheese grater because I'm crazy. Moving right along to fun little planters. We're actually going to put this one in Sebastian's office, which is so cute. It's just like little muted rainbows. Isn't it cute? I mean, I don't know if it's supposed to be rainbows, but it looks like a rainbow. And yeah, it's just a nice little pot. We have multiple plants that survived the basement, which is actually crazy. I think they thrived there because I kind of kept forgetting about them. And then 
they were just doing so well. So now we have nice pots to put them in. So yeah, we got this one. This is gonna go in Sebastian's office, which is nice. And then we just have this other one here, which is just gonna go either in our room, our living room. It, I don't really have an idea yet, but it's just really pretty. I loved the pink. I kind of want to have like nice whites and browns, but like a little bit of pinks in the house. I think it's so cute. So um, yeah, just a nice little planter. And then lastly for the planter, this was on sale as well. No, maybe it wasn't. Oh, it wasn't, but it was just a really good price. It was like $30 for this big planter, which I think will go so beautifully in our living room. I wanna get a really big plant and to pop this in. So yeah, this is what it looks like. I really am loving this like wood situation that it's sitting in. Um, that was kind of the theme for kind of all of them. But yeah, I really loved it. It's massive. I need to find plant that I like to put it in there. So the last thing that I'll show you guys is this big basket. It's really big. I can't fit the whole thing in there, but um, I really love this for our living room. I wanna store all of our uh, cozy blankets in. So this will just sit uh, beside the couch and maybe the plant, I don't know. But yeah, we'll just house all of our little blankets. So when people come around or me and Sebastian want to cozy up, there's a place to store our blankets. That's everything. It's a lot. Like I said, we've never really done this with any of our homes before, so we're really excited. And yeah, I just thought I'd share them with you. This is something I enjoy, and I know that you guys really love these as well. So I will let you guys have the rest of your day or night whenever you're watching this, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.